Islam is the second largest religion in the world after Christianity. It is the fastest growing religion in the world and about 2 billion people believe in this religion. Scholars typically date the day of Islam to the 7th century, making it the youngest of the major world religions. Islam started in Mecca, Saudi Arabia, on top of a cave. Islam was said to be revealed to Prophet Muhammad while he was in a cave. When the angel appeared to him, he commanded him to read. Read was the first word the angel said to him. So it started in Saudi Arabia. So how did he get to Nigeria? and spread so fast, faster than Christianity. Nigeria is the largest Muslim population in Africa. In 2018, the CIA World Factbook estimated that 53.5% of Nigeria's population is a Muslim. Islam was introduced to Nigeria through two geographical routes, the North Africa and the Senegalese Basin. The origin of Islam in the country is linked with the development of Islam in the wider West Africa and trade was the major connecting link that brought Islam into Nigeria. Islam started from the northeastern part of Nigeria due to trade and migration from the Arabian Peninsula and North Africa. The religion spread relatively quickly in the region due to cultural and historical factors. Many ethnic groups in northern Nigeria had cultural practices and traditions that aligned with Islamic values, making it easier for Islam to take root and spread through the regions. Islam's growth in Northeast Nigeria, particularly in the Kenam Empire, was facilitated by 11th century trade with North African Fezan. Egypt and Cyrenaica regions. Muslim merchants settled along trade routes, later preaching Islam to local communities. My Im Jimmy's conversion scholar marked the first documented conversion of a traditional ruler. This scholar's descendant became hereditary chief imams of Kenam. In the 16th century, Islam had become the dominant religion among Bono Empire leaders during My Idris Aloma reign, 1571 to 1603. Despite persistence of traditional religions, Aloma introduced Islamic court mocks and maka hosted for Kunuri pilgrims in Afsal and specifically Kano. Islam arrived in the 14th century through West Africa Monday Muslim traders from the Senegalian basin a Muslim trader from the Mali Empire. Mohammed Rumfa, 1463 to 1499, was the first Hausa land ruler to convert to Islam. By the 16th century, Islam has spread to the major northern cities, expanding to the countryside and middle bed upland. Let's talk about the Fulani war that contributed to high conversion of Hausa people to Muslim. In the early 19th century, Islamic scholar Usman Danfodio launched a jihad, which is called the Fulani war against the Hausa kingdom of northern Nigeria. He was a victorious and established the Fulani Empire with its capital at Sokoto. This jihad war played a significant role in mass conversion of Hausa people to Islam. So this is basically how Islam was established in northern part of Nigeria till today and now is spreading very fast to other parts of Nigeria. So now let's take a look at how Islam started in southwestern part of Nigeria. Yorubas came in contact with Islam around the 14th century during the reign of Masa Kankan Musa of the Mali Empire. According to Ai Alure, the first mosque was built in Oyo Ile in AD 1550, although there were no Yoruba Muslims living in Oyo then. Progressively, Islam came to Yoruba land and Muslims started building mosques. Iwotan led its first mosque built in 1655, followed by Isenyi in 1760, Lagos in 1774, Shaki in 1790, and Osobo in 1889. In time, Islam spread to other towns like Oyo Ibadan. The first Oyo convert was Solak Beru. Islam further spread to town like Abiyokuta, Ijebode, Ikiro, and a day before the 19th century Sokoto Jihad. Several factors contributed to the rise of Islam in Yoruba land by mid 19th century. Before the decline of Oyo, several towns around it had large Muslim communities. When Oyo was destroyed, these Muslims relocated to newly formed towns and villages and become Islam protagonists. Another reason why Islam spread faster in Yoruba land was that during that time there was a mass movement of people into Yoruba land, and majority of these immigrants were Muslims who later introduce Islam to their host. According to East, the religion differ in attraction and better adapted to Yoruba social structure because it permitted polygamy. Islam came to Lagos at about the same time like other Yoruba towns. However, it received a royal support from Oba Kosoko after a return from exile in Ekbe. According to Bade Mosi, in 1972 to 1980, Islam soon spread to other Yoruba towns, especially during the intra-tribal wars when there was a high demand for Islamic t-shirts and amulets. Islam, like Christianity, also found a common ground with the native that believe in supreme being. While there were some areas of disagreement, Islamic teachers impressed upon their audience the need to change from worshipping idols and embrace Allah. Without delay, Islamic scholar and local imams started establishing Quranic center to teach Arabic and Islamic 
case study. Much later, conventional schools were established to educate new converts and to propagate Islam. Traditional shrines and ritual sites were replaced with central mosques in major Yoruba towns and cities. So this is basically how Islam was introduced to the southwestern part of Nigeria till today. So let's move to the eastern part of Nigeria. Truth is, Islam is still a strange religion in the eastern part of Nigeria. Most of the Muslims you see in the eastern part of the Nigeria are most probably the Fulanis or the Yorubas or a newly converted Igbo Muslim. But there was this controversy that say Islam was planted in Igbo land since 1957 by one Igbo Muslim called Egwani in Efiko. According to Otenberg, 1971 quoted in Norum 2003. He said that it was one Okwani Egwani of Onohia village of Efiko in the present day of Ebony state who had brought Islam to that village. Egwani had been away from his village for several years. The villagers had believed that he was dead and had even performed funeral rites for him. However, as it turned out, Egwani had joined the Nigeria army in 1944. After his discharge, he stayed in Lagos and was converted to Muslim and changed his name to Alaji Ibrahim and later went back to Efikbo in Igbo land. Igbo culture is obviously different from Islamic belief, making it challenging for Islam to gain a widespread acceptance in Igbo land to this day. And this is basically how Islam started in Nigeria and now they have 53.3% of the entire population. I hope you find this video helpful. If you do or not, please give me a thumbs up because this video took so much of my time to research script, film and edit. So I really appreciate any kind of engagement from you either by liking, subscribing and don't forget to say something nice to me at the comment section in order to motivate me to do better the next time. Thanks for watching to the very end of this video. I really do appreciate your support. This is Big John up signing off. As per usual friend, hand to head. Salute.